Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get three free Dark Matters here in NBA 2K23, my team, from these new Pioneers players that came out today, which are should be over here, I would assume, in the Season 7 section. Um, yeah, here we go, Pioneers of the game. These are the three Dark Matters you can get for free today. We got Chuck Cooper at the shooting guard position, Nat Clifton at the small forward position, and Earl Lloyd at the shooting guard position. None of these guys have elite size. Six foot five. Nat Clifton is 6'6", six, six, and then Chuck Cooper is 6'5" but i will say especially this earl lloyd these cards actually look really really good the only flaw they have is that they are a bit undersized because their animations look incredible and they look like amazing amazing cards i think these are like the three players that broke the color barrier as well in the nba or something along those lines which is why they are pioneers of the game so very very cool to see this type of thing and see it being free as well grindable content that's not super hard and gives you free cards i think is a huge w so to get these cards well before we hop into the video if you haven't already mixed you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 12 thousand subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe but without further ado now to get these cards you just head over here right here to challenges come to spotlight challenges hit a and then or whatever that button is on playstation you got these pioneers of the game challenges right here that's it i mean this is really really simple these last two challenges aren't super important you can complete them if you'd like for a deluxe all-time nba award pack i'm not that worried about that uh, hall of fame badges i'm really not worried about those at this point either because pretty much every card has nearly every key off but this is the challenge you got to complete and it is so damn simple bro you just have to win the game on semi-pro to 21 points that's it it really doesn't matter who you have in your team anything like that you literally just have to win a game on semi-pro for to 21 points and you will get all three of these dark matters for free and all three of these cards are pretty good it's not like these are bad cards they are a bit undersized but they are very very good in terms of their animations very viable options at their respective positions and i think i mean this is the type of grindable content man that just encourages people to play the game because these cards aren't crazy they're not expensive they're not super hard to get it doesn't take ridiculous hours to get these types of cards incredible content for no money spent players people who are new to my team maybe starting a new account all that stuff and it's just this is the type of stuff that we need to see more of plain and simple in my opinion I think this is the stuff that keeps my team really growing and uh, doing well late in the year. And they've done an awesome job, I feel like, this week with the um, the, the Tuesday packs that they're not dropping with the Rush Equal Chance stuff. Uh, dropping content. I think they dropped content on Monday as well. Yeah, the uh, Dark Matter Lamello, or sorry, Carmelo Locker Code, where you could get an Evo version of Carmelo and get a free Dark Matter Carmelo that was very solid. Like, they've done a really, really good job with content this week, and I think they deserve a lot of credit for that. And I really hope to see that continue because 2K, I mean, this is the type of stuff that would really make their game do really really well but this is a very very simple challenge i mean semi-pro is so easy in triple threat you literally can just do drag backs with somebody who's released you like and shoot over the top every single play and you'll basically never miss even if you white like i did right there it's still gonna go in like over 50 percent of the time on semi-pro which is honestly really really nice uh, and yeah i mean th this it, it's it's a heck of a drop that's that's what i'll say i think this is a really really good drop um obviously the packs are good this week and they've been good all week we got good stuff in all these packs and stuff but this is the type of stuff that i love to see because you can i mean it, it's not hard it's it's super fast it's not time consuming and you can get some of the like really really good cards they're not terrible cards uh and they're they're also in addition to all the other stuff that's grindable in the game with season seven and i think if you can consistently give us these types of events maybe add spotlights at some point this season that would be a huge w just drop keep keep dropping things every week to keep the game fresh keep the game uh there keep there being things to do if they can do that the sky's the limit i mean 2k will really this is the type of stuff that they completely stopped doing over the last two seasons and it kind of killed the game mode in a lot of ways people have not been excited to play my team and i think for the first time in a while people are excited to play my team because there's stuff to do in the game again and i think that is really really important but with that being said that is about all i have to say in this video it's very very simple to get these cards you literally just have to win this triple threat game one triple threat game you get the cards i think that is a massive w or at least me personally i if you don't think so i guess that's up to you maybe because the cards aren't quite big enough or they're not quite meta enough or whatever but i mean come on they're really really solid cards and they're completely free and they're super easy to get and they're honoring pioneers of the game and pioneers of the breaking the color barrier and stuff like that i think this is super cool big fan of what 2k is doing give them a ton of credit early at least I give them a ton of credit for what they've done with this and with this week in general of content. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps y'all out. If it does, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.